who cares about money? I've never really been a big fan of money. You know what I mean? I spent a fortune just the weekend gone. I mean, Sunday night I must have drank about 10 pints of Guinness. And then when I got fed up of Guinness, I had about four pints of cider. You know, we seen this terrible band in the tavern, me and Sal. Met my sister up there as well by accident and a few other people I knew. This band, I don't even know what the, they were called. But apparently people follow them all over the North East. The fucking shit. Doing all this crap like Bon Jovi and Skid Row and Van Halen and, um, you know, just American bubblegum 80s pop rock. You know, not my cup of tea. Spiky hair and makeup and everything. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I like some of Van Halen stuff from the 70s. I'm sure there's a few Motley Crue songs and all, you know that kind of mean, you know what I mean. They were backing tapes, because, you know, the covered Jump by Van Halen. They didn't have a keyboard player, so where the bloody hell were the keyboards coming from? Someone's fucking arsehole. Anyway, <sighs> what a tangent that was. Yeah, my mum's always gone on about me about spending too much bloody money, right? I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because I could die tomorrow. And if I'm, you know, I could make a million today. What? Who's going to get that money tomorrow if, like, suddenly a ten ton weight drops on me fucking head? You know what I mean? Nobody. Well, my mum will probably take it. Oh, I need it more than anyone. Then she'll drop dead. Then on the other hand, she's always banging on at me stepdad because he's saving too much bloody well money John you can't take it to your grave with you you know there's no happy medium with me mother she's like moaning at me for spending too much you're not saving enough I'm, I'm 45 in a few weeks I'm moaning at me stepdad because Oh, he's a skinflint and he won't spend money and he, he wants to save as much as he can and he's in his 70s. <laughs> Families, you know what I mean? I won't say the old cliche, but um, talking of money and that and Christmas is coming, you know, I don't celebrate it, but, you know, nearly every year, right, most years, I treat myself to a new mobile phone, right? Didn't get one last year, because I can't get rid of this one. You know, because I'm going to get one this year, but this one might get jealous. I mean, it, it's fine. It works fine, right? I mean, shitty camera, you know. Um, can't get a Bluetooth to work, not like that, so it's pointless taking photos anyway. And, you know, when you send a text to someone, do, 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 right? Guess what? Every other phone I've had, I can look at the text I've sent after it's been sent. You can't do it with this. The text you've just sent disappears so you don't even get a preview of it. Only before you send it. And I can't get rid of this. You know I've dropped it down the toilet by accident twice. Once at work, once in here. I've accidentally fucking sat on it when it's been open just bent back up it didn't even break i've bloody you know i've i've left it in pubs oh <laughs> it miraculously grew a couple of pair of little feet came all the way at me flat knocked on the bloody front door when i didn't answer the front door it climbs up and dives through the letterbox. So it's like um, a sort of monster I've created, like in that old comic in the 70s I used to read. Frankie Stein. Mm. That was a buster and monster fun. Can't get rid of it. I've poured battery acid on it. Look at that. Not a fucking mark. Look at it. Look at it. And it's like Stevie Jacko said. In one of his videos when he's trying to smash that phone up and he smashes his bloody monitor up and everything. <laughs> that video, I can't remember what it's called now. But 
Do you this? I can't get rid of it, man. I mean, I am sick of walking around. It feels like I've got a garden shed in me fucking pocket. You know what I mean? But never mind. I'm going to get myself a new one. I mean, they're making them smaller now, aren't they? I mean, that's quite big, but it was dead small when I bought it. I mean, do you remember them massive ones, or Them big motor rollers. I had one of them. Christ, I was, like, walking around with a whole football stadium in your bloody well pocket. They were ridiculous, them. And the ones in the fucking 80s. Jesus Christ. That's like staggering down the street with the whole planet on your shoulders, isn't it? But, like, now they're getting that bloody small. Jesus Christ. What next? I mean... I I was in the phone shop the other day, just browsing around, you know. Some of them, Christ, they were smaller than Action Man's bar of soap. It's ridiculous, man. How are you supposed to fucking press the numbers? I mean, luckily, I haven't got dead fat things or anything. If I did have, I wouldn't be able to play the bass very well. But then, having said that, Susie Quattro, she was a good bassist. And she had, like, short little dumpy fingers, didn't she? <sighs> Another tangent. Sorry, hammerheads. Yeah, so treat myself to a phone. Mm. Money, money, money. In a rich man's world, I wish. Right then. That's about it, hammerheads. <laughs> what the fuck? See you later. Oh my lord. Do, 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 do.